Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Now we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and the weather is getting a little interesting, so we might have some wind on this video. We'll just deal with that, but we're at the Chrysler Nationals. If you want to see information on the Carlisle events, come into the text of this video, and we'll have the website for you there. But I met Bob. Bob, what's your last name? Bob Hauser. Bob Hauser, and Bob's father was a collector of cars, and this was one of them that he gave to his son. So. Bob, um, tell me, when did your dad purchase this car? I think he bought it around 1978. So when did you become the lucky next owner? Oh, uh, probably in 2005, maybe. Not too bad. What's the reaction when you're driving this land yacht? How big is it? <laughs> <laughs> what year, make, and model is this one? This is a 1968 Chrysler Imperial. Although some people dispute the word Chrysler because Imperial tried to make themselves their own marquee at one time. Exactly. <laughs> so is it a Chrysler Imperial or is it an Imperial? It is actually an Imperial, but Chrysler never pushed the uh, marquee idea. Got it. So the Imperial. You don't say Lincoln Ford. Either, right. But... So this one here, boy, is stunning. And, and I asked you beforehand, the question is, how many of these have you seen? And you said... We only made 474 convertibles. And how many do you see now? Uh, there's been a few that I've seen. You have are, seen a few? No, I've seen them on uh, being parted out because they were too badly rusted. But you haven't seen another one in person? No, I've never seen another one in person. Never seen another one in person and you own one. And I got to step way back. And I have a wide angle lens. But that's a lot of car. And it's pretty well optioned, too, is the nice thing about it. Well, being the Imperial, that's top of the line. Yeah, it wouldn't come with uh, power windows automatically, but I added the power vent windows before an option. Oh, cool. And the uh, the automatic dimmer, which is on the outside of the car, which is the only that did that. This right here? Yeah. Very nice. So these were options. And then it has the sentinel lighting, which turns the lights on at dusk and turns them off at dawn. And then when you get out of the car, it'll leave, leave them on up to three minutes. It will actually turn on the uh, reverse lights and the tail lights so when you Let, walk around it, it's got... Let's go to the interior, shall we? I usually would save that, but I'm going to do that right now. And that's a pretty commanding door. I mean, there's kind of a lot going on here. This looks like a map holder or something. Yep, so some storage there. That's your door handle to get out. Nice little grab handle. The Imperial logo. And it's a tilt telescopic wheel. A tilt telescopic wheel, okay. Don't forget the autopilot. <laughs> Is that up here? No, it's right here, it says auto. Oh, okay, <laughs> autopilot says autopilot. <laughs> Who's paying attention now? The on, the off, the auto. Nice, it gives you temperatures of degrees at that time. So dad had uh, all, I'll call them, classy cars. This yeah. one's got 90,000. You can put that door up there in the middle. This, where it says crown? Yeah. Oh, look at that. And if you push the AM button on the other side, then yeah. you're not going to see what it does. Oh, wait, let me put my hand there. It, it flips it over. The actual dial. I always thought that was neat that it changes the actual dial. I'll do it with that finger, yeah. You can see the that. AM dial and an FM dial. Before that is really the, cool. You know, the numbers together, but they actually flip the dial. That is very cool. And, and then auto it has temp, which. They were ahead of their time, but they were also ahead of their technology. It's been nothing but a pain in the neck. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And we've got power disc brakes, a nice lighting option here. The key nicely stuffed in there. And power side mirrors too. This is a pretty thick door area. Yeah. Nice to lean in. Just step back for a second. Imperial. Very comfy looking bucket seats. Wow. Actually, out of all the cars my father had, he said this car really fast. This is the nicest riding car, according to Dad. That torsion bar suspension. What's the, uh, 
when you're driving this one, what's the reaction on the road? What do people think? Really, I've got a few thumbs up, of course, and some people, when I stop at a place or whatever, a lot of them look at the eye and think it's an Impala. Okay. And other people think it's a Cadillac, but, you know, Imperial wasn't as well known, so that's why they get easily confused. A little bit of explanation. It. Yeah. I like this feature. Yeah, tell me. Show me the feature you like. They lock the seatbelts out of the way for you. <laughs> they snap in. Down. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. So, they snap in so you don't have to use them, or they don't whip you in the back of the head. Right. Well, back then, most people didn't use seatbelts, so let's get them out of the way. Right. And then <laughs> even, like, the back seat has some nice... Alright, show you one other thing here. Yeah, show me anything you want to show me. I'm eager to learn. Oh wow, that was very cool. And they have a handle back here to get out of the back seat. That will open the car door also. You have a front one. So the front and the back and the automatic moving up. So you can get in the back seat easily. That is cool. Does it go in reverse? No, it doesn't. They only have part way. They only have one <laughs> way. Isn't that interesting? Bob, any other toys this car has that I don't know about? Oh, uh, well, the trunk's up. All right, let's look at the automatic trunk. Okay, I just saw that pop open. We'll take a look at the trunk, and then I'll look at the overall back end. Wonderful Imperial script. That's a trunk. Holy cow. You can get a lot in there. Yeah, I took a trip down to the Carolinas years ago, and a buddy of mine said, bring down Jenny Cream Ale, because he didn't have any. And I got eight cases of Jenny Cream Ale in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and sure you did. My goodness. <laughs> All right, so let's close that. I'm guessing it, there it goes. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. What a wonderful centerpiece. And your gas. Well played. Did not see that coming. I thought it was behind the license plate. All right, let's step back for just a moment. So are the taillights in the chrome? No, that's a piece that goes over. Mm. So when you step on the brakes, could you step on the brakes while I'm right back here? Just because I don't know where they would come from. Oh, I see it now. Well designed, well hidden. Cool. All right, well, let's uh, take a look under the hood. This car's got all kinds of little fun features. Nice little turn signal indicators there. Yeah, and that's the only place they have them. They don't have any on dash. Really? Yeah, normally I've seen them with them both, you know. Here we'll just put them there. The Chrysler Corporation at the top and the Imperial down here. What's the cubic inches on this? Is it a 440 or? Yep, every Imperial. That was the only engine option. Yeah, I thought this was a big, it'd be a big Whopper engine. And as we come over here, I see our all important vehicle tag along with its little side tag piece there. It's a driver. Maybe yeah, no, it's great. Car, but it's a nice car. Yeah, no, it's a very nice car. Let's uh, fire it, shall we? We'll keep that up. Mm -hmm. I've already stepped on the brake light, so we'll just listen to it idle and then we'll give it a little rev. Conditioning. Very smooth. Very quiet. Give it a rev, would you, Bob? <laughs> well, there's no question the 440 will get up and go. All right, let's close, uh, shut that down for a moment. I did notice. I did notice one thing when you. Uh, we could shut the hood and we'll close the door here again. Come on out. Well, that was a heck of a rev. And I just want to notice too that as I'm here, notice that little hook, and you get those two chrome pre pieces that go all the way down. 
right to the front and the nice Imperial hubcaps. Well, Bob, thanks so much for bringing your car out. What hey, a wonderful car. And uh, really appreciate you sharing it here at Carlisle. And thanks for being on My Car Story. Hey, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you later. Thanks, guys.